What's up guys, and tonight I have some good news for you. I've finally completed enough of the X-Tech for PS Vita port that I am considering it ready to publish. I'm calling this sort of a, a pre-release alpha build. It's playable. Uh, there are still bugs. There is still some slowdown. I'm going to be trying to iron out as much as I can, but I'm not going to be doing the big push like I did to get this project to where it is now on PS Vita. So just to go alongside with the release of this, I'm going to show you real quick the easiest way to get up and going with a couple test episodes so you can try it out for yourself on your PS Vita. Now, of course, there's a lot of small files, so I highly recommend that you do not do the transfer over FTP. I highly recommend that you take your Vita and either do the transfer over USB, or uh, you do what I do and you take your SD card out of your Vita and you stick it in your laptop. And uh, that's because I'm using, of course, the PSV micro SD adapter. Vita to SD, of course, it's a must have in the PS Vita world. So. I'm going to have a link in the description for the actual VPK. When you download the zip file and extract it, uh, you'll pretty much get all of these files. You'll get the license, you'll get the changelog. This changelog is specific to the Xtech, and uh, whatever's in this changelog has merged into the Vita branch it's building. This is based off the latest master branch as of today. Uh, so, yeah, the license there, the GNU GPL. Uh, of course, if you want the source code for this Vita port, it's available both in my personal branch, my personal fork of the Xtech, and in Wolstan's uh, fork uh, version of the Xtech 2. Uh, they're both under the work in progress Vita support branches, so you can go and check out that code, hack around with the Vita renderer if you want. It is by no means perfect. This is my first time trying to port a game to. Uh, you know, a low-power embedded platform, especially a specialized game console like this, you know. So, go ahead, make improvements if you want. It is open source, that's the beauty of it. This is just a starting point. Uh, but of course, what you're interested in is the VPK file here. Now, this VPK, I'll go ahead and uh, VPKs are just standard zips, but just to show you what you're getting inside this VPK, not a whole lot. You're getting the fragment and the vertex shader because I am using modern Vita GL. Uh, I'm not using the fixed function renderer for this. Uh, and the SEC sys, as you can see, just, you know, a basic, basic live area with some assets. And of course the eBoot. So you will need to get your assets separately. Now the easiest way to do this is to just download the Xtech for your appropriate platform. Now, I'm on a MacBook right now, but I'm just going to download the Linux build because it comes as a tar and it's easy for me to get the assets from. So, in addition, if you have any questions at any time, the readme.md is in here. Uh, I've shown what folders to look for, what the data structure should look like for the data folder, but this video is here to augment this. Alright, so I'll take the tar that I downloaded for the Linux version, or you can take the zip that you downloaded for the Windows version. Either way, the assets for SMBX are going to be in here. Now, in addition, this is the Xtech. There is support for episodes that have their own custom configuration. Uh, there is not support for multiple uh, the Xtech data directories yet. It's kind of just if you need to swap the assets out, you're going to have to overwrite what's there and then re-download the SMBX assets when you want them. But this is just to get you going with SMBX, which I'm sure is what, what everybody's here for. So you can see I've got the binary in here. You're not going to need that. Uh, what you're going to need from this is worlds, the xtech.ini, sounds.ini, sound, intro and outro level. Uh, you're going to need the music.ini. You're also going to need graphics, game info, battle, and music. Everything else is manuals and everything. These are good to look at too if you'd like. Uh, but everything else over here is not needed. So these are the basic assets you're going to need. And in the worlds in here, you can see we come. it comes with the Princess Cliché and the Invasion 2. So those are two of the classics. Uh, the Invasion 2, I think, is going to be... It kind of have a little bit of everything. You know, it's a very vanilla episode. There's uh, use of custom graphics, but not very heavy use of custom graphics, but it's still definitely worth a playthrough. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take these right here and I'm going to open the PlayStation Vita in another window here. Okay, and you might have to show hidden folders to get to these 
paths, but basically you want to find the data folder. Here it is, the data folder. And you want to create a new folder here called the Xtech, and capitalization does matter. You want it to be capital T, capital X, capital T. And then inside of this directory, you want to move these files over. So all the data files that we talked about earlier, you just want to go ahead and copy or move these over to your PlayStation Vita. So once this is done, Okay, so now that all the assets are moved over, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and move the VPK over to a uh, location that you can access. I made a download folder. I like to put my VPKs in the download folder. Uh, so that's everything. Your data folder is set up. The VPK is transferred. We're gonna go ahead and eject the SD card from the Mac and go ahead and get this into the adapter and into the Vita. Okay, as you can see, we've got the bubble now. We'll tap to start it. There's no fancy configurator here or anything like any of the any of the higher profile Vita releases, but that's okay because there's some configuration you can do in the game. Okay, and the game's loading. So once you drop into the title screen, you'll be able to select your episode or install any additional episodes too. If there's a favorite SMBX episode you had, there's even a utility that can be used and freely downloaded called GIFs to PNG, which takes legacy SMBX episodes that rely on GIF graphics. Now, this game's pretty IO heavy, so you definitely want to make sure your SD card is up to snuff. You don't want to have an old one. Alright, awesome. There's the title screen. So, hope you guys enjoyed this basic video on how to get started and how to get set up with the XTech on VitaPort. From here, you can just drop in and play it like you normally would. There you go. This level makes use of custom graphics. As you can see, everything's working. Got a little bit of a text glitch, but yep. The link will be in the description for the GitHub post. You can report any bugs you find in the Vita version on GitHub. But yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys.